cross bang even then they're still hitting they're trapping and hitting trying to pass well most wrestlers don't know how to pass a guard so that's what you're going to deal with the stacked ground and pound when I was fighting, a lot of heavyweight wrestlers uh, would love to stack you in the guard. You get stuck in the guard, and uh, they didn't know how to pass the guard, so they would put all their weight into you. They'd hook your head, they'd try to choke you, uh, or they'd hold your head and try to punch your face. So a couple of things that would happen would be that you'd get this big, strong wrestler, and he would keep his head here, you'd cross your feet, and then what he would do is he would try to get an arm here like this and a leg up and try to start hitting, and then what they would do is try to put all their body weight here on your throat or put all their body weight here on your throat. So the submissions that you can get from this position if you're a big guy is when you start to tripod and you bring your hand down here like this, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna jam that up. And then you're gonna punch his head in deep and you're gonna come in and this is gonna be your submission. It's a head and arm submission in the guard. Another finish that people will do is the bow tie where they will grab their bicep and grab their other bicep like this and they'll try to tripod. So the bow tie was actually originally from judo. The bow tie choke, undo your leg. The bow tie choke was like this and it was, your hands are across and all your body weight goes here. So it's this way instead of this way. Okay, so so when when he's got the guard, a lot of guys are going to sit here, and they're either going to put their arm across here, and they're going to attempt to start to hit, or they're going to come here and they're going to pinch. Uh, if if you do this, you grab their lat, and then you put your head down, and that's all your body weight into his shoulder, into his neck, and that's super powerful. This is okay, but this is way more powerful. And then of course, that comes across. And you work this or that. Here's a choke from the bottom that I think is very useful. I learned it from my judo coach. He used to catch people with this a lot. So, you'd be in the guard here. And the first thing you do is you knock that up bring his legs down and, and hold this tight. And he would keep this extremely tight because he's gonna try to bring his arm back around my head. So once I'm tight here, I have to shimmy my legs, take his side, then I figure four and I squeeze my legs and my arms together and that's a submission. This is coming up, you're catching here. He's gonna bring his arm back. He's gonna sit up, stay tight, use your legs, get to his side. Then you tighten together and squeeze your legs and your head together. That's an extremely powerful triangle from the bottom. You have to be on your side. You can't be flat because he could posture. If you go here and you start to go here, he could start to posture up. Okay, not good for me. So the key is to shimmy and get out and now squeeze them together. Can you get up? Can you get out? Would you tap here? Yeah, yes, it's pretty tight. Okay, so I'm on the bottom. He puts his Y on my throat and he lifts his leg and he's gonna start to punch. Okay, so this is a, a tough situation. You could lift your hips up to create space and you could use this to come inside here like that. If he throws straight down, you wanna go to the side and try to get to the captivation of the head. I wouldn't go for this because at any time when you start to go for this arm, he's gonna retract that arm and pull it off. So uh, if he goes to punch, obviously you could sweep with the hand here. Okay, now he's got his forearm on my neck and he's holding across and all of his body weight's tripoded and it's up on my neck. So the first thing I do is I hip up and I shove that across. And once I do that, that's easier for you to get under. One more time, forearms on my neck, and his legs are back, his body weight's on his arm, he's going to punch, bang, look how I shove, and then I get his lat. And if his leg is here, I'm going under his leg, if his leg isn't there, I'm gonna shuck and just use a leg scissor sweep. Okay, last is his arm is under my head, 
So we were really trying to solve this one, the first one when they're pinching you hard. He's just holding and pinching hard on my head. The first thing I do is I pull down to create space. See how I'm pulling down? So he's pinching my head, I'm pulling down just so I can breathe. Because if I don't, I might get that. Ah, ah. So I hold. Now my legs are gonna go here and I'm gonna shuck. And by shucking, this will allow me to hook and then come off. And then I immediately start to attack the finish, which is here. My hands are here, I'm hipping up. Now I start to shimmy my legs like this. He steps over, boom, not good for me. But I can either, I can either trap here and here and then bridge this way or I kill the other side and I trap and roll the other way. Anytime the arm is here, we're always attacking the arm. So when his arm comes off, bang, this is easy for you to start to attack the arm. A wrestler, when they take you down, is to hold you and squeeze you. And a lot of guys, they prevent the uh, punches from coming to the face, so their hands will go on the biceps, their elbows will be tight, their head will be in the middle. They'll put their pressure on, on your face with their forehead. Then the hands might start to come up or go under or pull the ear sideways, forearm, hand on the neck. This is a real situation you have to deal with when you're fighting in MMA against a good grappler, a good wrestler, because all they want to do is pinch your head and punch your face in. So you need to know these things. So here's what kind of happens. This is what it would kind of look like. So here these two guys are fighting. This guy throws a left hook. He comes in, he shoots a double leg bang, just like this. And the first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna hook, hook here and he's gonna be punching, punching, and punching your face. He's gonna be trying to get this or get this so he can hit here. The other thing here is his hand's gonna be here and he's gonna be punching here and punching here, pulling the arm, punching here, punching here, punching here, pulling the arm, punching here, punching here, elbowing the leg. So these are uh, definitely things that these guys are gonna do because they don't know how to pass the guard. And this is what they think, they're gonna grind you to death. They're gonna grind you to death. And then some of them try to put their choke here. Some guys will put all their weight up on your shoulder. You guys will get here and let me try to choke you here as they're hitting and hitting. He tries to wipe the arm across, bang, even that. They're still hitting, they're trapping and hitting, trying to pass. Well, most wrestlers don't know how to pass a guard. So that's what you're gonna deal with, the stacked ground and pound.